Sterling Holmes with Fan Sided, joined now by Jackson Smith and Jigba and Chris Olave. Again, you can't have football without wings, and you can't, you can't have, have wings, wings without, without bounty. bounty. Oh, look at that. Yes, sir. You already have it down, huh? It's facts. I mean, <laughs> you can't. You can't. There's no way. I mean, those jackets are also, those things are, they're fire. I asked, you know, Aiden O'Connell if I could have his. He told me no. <laughs> yeah. So I'll ask you guys, can I have yours? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a price. Uh, There's all right. always a right price. L let's start with the Ohio State connection here. How much fun was that playing together in college? Man, it was huge. I mean, being so young, 19, 20 years old, but being competing with each other, you know what I'm saying, getting better every day, coming to work, knowing that uh, everybody wants a job, everybody wants to, to be the number one receiver. So just be able to get better in the off season, and then perform on, on Saturdays in the shoe was, was huge for us. So Yeah. Super fun. I mean, I just have to say, you know, I would say for like me and like the younger groups, you know, you want to come in and be the next Chris Olave. Yeah. So, you know, there's just guys like that. And I'm sure he looked up to somebody who pushed him. But for a lot of guys, you know, for us, it's Chris Olave. And for me to share the field with him and Gary Wilson and Chris Olave, Justin Fields, I mean, I tell people all the time, like leaving the huddle sometimes, I could like just see their aura feel their aura and just know like we about to win they cannot stop us you know like on some power rangers like type stuff so but it was just unbelievable super super blessed to spend my time at ohio state with these guys what were your emotions when michigan won i'm sorry to bring it up i'm a mizzou guy so i don't like their their m let's be real now i think they stole yeah. that from mizzou but as far as michigan winning do you guys have any emotions there or now that you're in the nfl you don't really care as much i mean it's, it's always going to be a rival there you know what i'm saying yeah. but uh it's huge for their program uh uh to be able to to, to win that and uh it's gonna be it's gonna be huge moving forward and it's gonna be a tough matchup yeah yeah it's a big deal i yeah. mean I, biggest rivalry in and sports in my opinion and it was it was it was an honor to play in that game you know sadly i'm owing too but <laughs> you know uh, we'll make up for it some way, somehow. Obviously, with Bounty, we're all about wingmen here. So what is, what is your favorite trait about Chris Olave on the field? What, what, what's your favorite trait about him? My favorite trait was just how he showed up to work, how he practice. The practice looks just like the game, um, you know, just watching it. And I really respected that, and I really, um, you know, I really appreciate that. You know, him being my wingman, just looking at that and looking forward to, to be that next one. And um, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Favorite trait about JSN? Man, he's just so <laughs> smooth, man. Uh, how you see him now is how you're on the field. He's, <laughs> he's competitive. Uh, that's probably my favorite thing about him is competitive nature. Uh, just trying to get better, trying to dominate the man in front of him. Uh, that's probably my favorite thing about him. Uh, obviously, new head coach in Seattle. L little interesting here. Did you know Pete Carroll was gone? Like, like when did you find out? Because that had to be a little bit of a shock. Yeah, I found out really when everybody else found out. Um, it was tough. It was shocking. Um, and, yes, I'm sad that I only got one year. But, you know, from that one year, not even a year, a couple months, I've learned so much from him. And he's put in so much into me and my family and you know of course the organization in seattle it's, it's been amazing and i'm truly honored blessed to just have him for the short time i had him and you know hopefully he's around the building and i always i'll be calling i don't know if he'll pick up <laughs> but i'll be calling his phone just you know to hear his voice and to get all the information from him because he has everything yeah. he has every any question he has the answer so um Super honored to for him to call him my coach. As far as your guys' just transformation into the NFL, how was it the transition? Obviously, Ohio State, Power Five, great college, but obviously there had to be at least a few things that were a little shocking. I'll start with you, Chris. What, what was the biggest difference going from college to the NFL? Uh, you know, just going to Ohio State, you you prepare for that. They prepare you for all those things uh, going into the league, having a smooth transition. But if there was one thing I would point out, probably just the length of the season, uh, mm -hmm. having those preseason games and having – uh, 17 regular season games so uh, just be able to take care of your body and doing all those little things to be able to uh, be prepared for Sundays yeah what about you yeah I mean it's definitely a different experience uh, uh, than college but like uh, Chris said you know the Ohio State they prepared you know us to play in big games in front of a hundred thousand uh, people uh, which we we're seeing every weekend in Columbus so um, in terms of that aspect I would say you know it is it, they sh it's the exact same. Yeah. Um, but I feel like for me, you know, um, it was kind of a rocky start, you know, just trying to figure out where you fit in and stuff like that. And then 
you know, kind of found my groove a little later. But, um, yeah, super honored to be a part of the NFL. You know, this is a dream job. And, you know, it's hard, but it's not hard. <laughs> you know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> all right. Who's on your Mount Rushmore of wide receivers? Mount Rushmore. Of all, all time. All time. All time. Uh, I ain't see the people back then play, but the people I've seen play, Randy Moss, Antonio Brown, Deshaun Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You're the second wow, person wow. that said Deshaun Jackson. I, I, I like Deshaun Jackson <laughs> and, and probably um, DeAndre Hopkins. Mm. Love it. What about you? That's tough. I'm going to have to put Jerry Rice in there, Randy Moss, Antonio Brown, Megatron. Oh, yeah. That's four right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I got. All right, you guys both play with C.J. Stroud, right? Obviously, I think he didn't play with you, but he was on the team, right? You play, So with C.J. Stroud, what was that like? Did you know he was going to be become this in the NFL? Because, I mean, his rookie season has been historic. It's been phenomenal. When did you know that he was that type of guy? Man, it was right away for me. Um, just not how he carries himself uh, on and off the field. Uh, just hum being humble, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he has a, the talent, all the talent in the world, but just all the other things that shape him to who he is, uh, that's, that's when I noticed he was one. Yeah, I like to say this because I've been getting that question a lot. I was like, we know, but we didn't. We don't know, but we know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's just great. Like, he's great. We don't know. I mean, I say that in terms of I don't know what the ceiling is for him. He can – the ceiling, I don't know what ceiling is. It's, it's unbelievable, but I know he's going to be great. And, you know, I I felt that from him, you know, since I met him. And just watching him, the hunger, the humbleness that he has, you know, it's all that mixed together is just destined for greatness. So I know, again, we're here, wingman with Bounty, but a little rival time now. First off, who's winning downstairs on the, on the paper toss game? Paper towel toss. Have Ooh, you guys done that yet? We have not. We ain't done that, but. I'm looking forward to it, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's making this Super Bowl first, then? I was trying to ease into that question, so I didn't have to. <laughs> I was trying to ease into it. I'm going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> and next Super Bowl in New Orleans. Home field. Well, Home field. Again, That's as gonna you're here, here in the Super Bowl, does it make you want it that much more, just seeing all the, the pageantry, the aura surround? I know you guys haven't been here super long yet, but again, last night, 23-plus thousand fans packed in opening night just to hear players give their thoughts. I mean, it is absolutely crazy. Does it make you want to go to the Super Bowl even more? I mean, it's a dream, man. Uh, just being in this environment, being in this atmosphere, uh, it's always a dream to be able to play with the best and be at the top. So uh, it's always uh, it's always comes to work, though. So yeah, I mean, during this time, I'd rather be practicing than talking to you, to be honest. But, <laughs> hey, I get but it. we're here. I, I'm enjoying my time as much as I can here in Vegas at the Super Bowl. Um, but definitely looking forward to this. Like, the question you asked, I mean, yeah, it definitely makes us hungry just seeing all these banners and watching the Super Bowl our whole lives being the biggest event, one of the biggest events in the world. Um, yeah, we, we have to get there. We all have right. To. Uh, really quickly, who wins? Chiefs, 49ers? Mm. Chiefs. I got Chiefs. Love that. I got that quarterback from Texas. Love that. Get it done. <laughs> Favorite wing flavor since they're sitting in front of us. I'm a buffalo, but them barbecues really, <laughs> man, they, they looking good right there. <laughs> Lemon pepper. Lemon man, pepper. okay. Jacoby Myers and you on the same page then. Oh, yeah. For Jacoby so. Myers. For Again, so. you can't have wings without yeah. football. You can't yeah. have wings. Oh, no, no. You can't, you have, can football have football without, without wings. wings. You can't have football hey, without See, this is why you guys are here, yeah. to correct me. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't have wings without, without bounty. bounty. Thank you guys so much. Yes, sir. Thanks Blessings. for having us.